so the next uh, two sets of settings are actually uh, also interrelated and they are our intellectual default settings and then our physical settings, right? So with the invent of uh, MRI and PET and SPEC, those, those brand imaging systems, right? Uh, what's happening is that neurologists are finding new evidence, right? That we do have some inborn uh, or, or primordial settings, right? We are born, we are not born with a clean slate with some of the uh, uh, philosophers thought. So one very interesting thing is that babies have grasp of physics of liquids, right? So they, they, they did some research with very young babies, right? Uh, and if liquids, which were apparently liquid, won't behave like liquids, so they would be surprised, right? Or if they were solids and they didn't behave like solid, uh, which they were expecting, right? Then they would uh, they would also uh, express their, their surprise. And then there's new evidence uh, that, uh, uh, in fact, I have these, some papers here. Uh, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. so this one, it says that new, new evidence of innate knowledge, and this is uh, called a, a Blue Brand Project. This one says that, uh, that, that neuroscience has proved now that they've discovered that neurons make connections independent of subject's experience. And the other one here, uh, this is a research study by Thomas and Henry. It says a synaptic organizing principle for critical neuron group, right? What they have discovered is that the, in the brain, there are some uh, what they call uh, bottom up processes. And then there are some top down processes, right? So the bottom up processes I won't go into details, but they are because of our innate or inborn knowledge, right? And the other ones, uh, the top-down, uh, are because of our experience, right? And what we learn, uh, the, the knowledge that we learn. Similarly, uh, here is the uh, uh, the research, uh, which is called baby physics, right? Uh, and which proves that babies already have some understanding and knowledge of the physics of liquid, right? That's another one. Uh, and then... Mathematics and innate knowledge of neuroscience. Uh, do you remember we had that conversation about uh, Plato and Socrates? Uh, and uh, the, Plato actually uh, wrote those dialogues, right? And in the, uh, there was a dialogue which was called uh, the Mano, right? And in which uh, they concluded that they did some, some dialogue with a slave boy. And what did they do? What was the, what was the conclusion? That uh, everyone has some innate knowledge. Exactly. And they actually extracted some basic principles of geometry from a slave illiterate boy, right? And here is another one, the, the psychology and a neuroscience of curiosity. So remember we discussed here? Uh, this is part of our primordial nature, one of the default settings, uh, spiritually, that we'll be seeking uh, the purpose of our life and, and our existence and our creator. And here, the neuro neurologists have proved that inbuilt mechanism of curiosity within our uh, within our nature, right? Because of that, we always look for for the purpose of our life. And then, when we don't do the, or don't behave or don't act the way we are supposed to be acting based on these default settings, then what happens with the cell phone? The cell phone doesn't function, right? If you go against the, the default settings, same as the human nature, right? Then our uh, nature is restless. We seek happiness and we seek fun and we seek um, other things in life, right? If that's not in alignment with our primordial nature, right, our default settings, then we are never satisfied. And then intellectual settings, so they go hand in hand, right? So intellectual settings, human beings are the only species who has, how many languages are there in the world so far? 7,000 languages, right? Don't give me that smile. So there are 7,000 languages and babies young as one, two years old, they start talking and they learn the, the intricacies of those languages. And, and those languages are based on just a certain number of characters. Look at the numbers, right? From zero to, to nine, only 10 digits, right? Uh, and we 
do so many complex calculations and everything with that. And that's just because of our intellectual settings, right? Our primordial intellectual and physical settings. When they did those experiments on, 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 on young babies, uh, they were saying that if you show infants something which has either very limited or no information to something very complex and something which they can understand a little bit, then they would pay more attention to to things with, with, with information which they can absorb, right? Or they won't pay attention to things with lots of information or very little information, which also proves that they, even at that age, are maximizing their potential to learn, right? And then from the intellectual perspective, when it comes to the numbers, this is now research shows that even six month old babies, they can distinguish between uh, the displays with different quantities and different numbers, right? They've done some extensive, amazing research. So all these things prove that we are born with some default settings.